Hi everyone, my name is Mary Siekman and I am the Delaware Area Career Center's Enrollment and Outreach Coordinator. Today I'm going to be talking about our Bioscience Program, a program for juniors and seniors here at DACC. Out of transparency, DACC is posting for a Bioscience Instructor position at the end of the 2020-2021 school year um, and we'll be hiring an instructor over the summer. But we'll go ahead and get started. So to start off, here are some pictures of some of our current and past bioscience students, just to start painting a picture in your mind about what their learning spaces look like, as well as what our students look like. Today, uh, we will cover a program overview, talk a little bit about the curriculum highlights that students will experience in the junior and senior year, talk about our real world learning environments in the lab that our students get to come to school in every day, Talk about industry credentials and experience that students can earn both years in the bioscience program. What credits the bioscience program um, counts for and the opportunity to earn some college credit through College Credit Plus. And then how our students use this program to explore what kind of career fields are out there and what might be interesting to them. Um, because it does set students up for so many different pathways. And we will round it all out with a student testimony from one of our alumni. So the program itself is a two-year program here at DACC. Juniors, our first-year students, will attend Bioscience Lab in the morning from 7.50 to 10.50, and then have the option to take their academics back at their home school or here as a full-day student at DACC. And then that all flip-flops a student's senior year. So students will take their academic classes either at their home school or here on our campus, have lunch, and then um, spend their afternoon from about 11.20 to 2.20 in the bioscience program. Bus transportation is provided to students, as well as students can choose to drive themselves to school. And if students are involved in any extracurricular activities like athletics or clubs, we encourage them to still continue to do those at their home school. So we'll talk briefly about some program highlights. What can students expect to learn in the bioscience program? Well, it definitely is a hands-on program. Um, I like to tell students that it is a lot different than taking a, a biology or a chemistry class at their home school, although those are beneficial, right? This program allows students to spend more than one class period diving deep into the world of bioscience. So instead of just walking into class and experiencing a lab that's been set up for you, our students begin to conceptualize, brainstorm, create all of the materials needed in the lab, perform the lab, tear down, do analysis, um, create um, conclusions and draw conclusions from that lab. So um, we'll review scientific method, um, you get to learn how to conduct your own experiments, um, all while practicing lab safety and maintenance skills, um, which are needed in college and in the workforce. Um, talk about different instruments, um, learn how to handle different chemical materials with care, um, basic microbiology and biochemical technology. Um, we do cell culturing, um, fermentation technology, talk about bioethics, and then talk about careers in these fields. A lot of times students come in and they might um, want to go into forensics or they might want to go into medicine or veterinary science. And then through their time in this program, maybe they fine tune those career goals um, and begin to craft a plan. That is what the bioscience program helps students do. Couple of pictures of our alumni here. So when we talk about real world learning environments, um, we talk about how our labs and our learning spaces were created with intent to operate differently than a traditional high school classroom. So if you were to walk in the bioscience space, you'd see um, half of the space is a classroom setting because there is some book work and some textbook work and research that goes on. But the other space is a lab space that has been designed and filled with state of the art technology that students don't or might not have the chance to, to actually get their hands on until they get into college or get into the career field. So some of these skills that our students learn, we start with basics like micro pipetting um, to cell culturing of bacteria. That's cool because our students get to create their own agar, fill trays, let them sit, use an inoculation loop to streak bacteria and watch it grow. Um, so that's something our students learn in the junior year. 
make cereal dilutions. Again, they have access um, to our, um, our storage room of different um, chemical materials. We get to learn about those and the safety that goes along with it. Utilizing aseptic technique, a skill that's needed out in the industry, and that's going to look really great on their resume if they're applying to a college program. PCR and gel electrophoresis. Um, again, skills that students might not learn until they're in those higher level college classes. So industry credentials and experience. Um, this is where we talk about how students can differentiate themselves and stand out, whether it's a scholarship application, a college application, a job application. Um, that's what the Career Center is here to do, is to help students differentiate themselves. Um, a lot of times we get asked, well, how is this different than taking any science class? Um, there's value in both, right? Just as there's value in so many experiences at a student's home school. However, in the bioscience program, we're really going to fine tune those skills and have our students create scientific resumes, create scientific research papers, um, learn about multiple different scientific approaches. Um, those are going to look great on their portfolio and on their resume as they apply to their next steps after high school. The certifications that these students will walk away with is in their junior year, they're going to get their HIPAA certification, patient privacy, and their bloodborne pathogen certification. And then their senior year, they'll come back and they'll get their OSHA, OSHA certification as well. There is opportunity for our students to earn high school and college credits. Um, each of our pro or each each level of the program, students will walk away with three academic credits. In the junior year, they can expect two of those to be electives and one to be a chemistry credit. If students qualify and then choose, they can take a college credit plus chemistry course that second semester taught here by our teachers on DACC's campus. So they're getting both a high school and a college course in credit and chemistry. The senior year, students come back and they'll get one elective credit for their time in lab, one anatomy and physiology credit, as well as a statistics credit. And again, students can choose if they're qualified to take that through College Credit Plus. It's taught here on our campus um, by our teachers at DACC. And one of the big things that separates the Career Center from a traditional high school program would be the opportunity for students to go and explore different career fields. I like to call it coming to DACC and changing your major a whole bunch of times, right? Because we're, we're all high school students who change their minds as they fine tune what's interesting to them. But doing it in a safe space, changing their major without paying tuition in college to figure it out down the road, right? Because career exploration, majoring in career exploration is, is awfully expensive. So this allows our students to um, really research what career fields are out there. Maybe they go and they job shadow or they do a community service project or we go and we tour an industry or a college program. Take it a step further and have an internship, whether it is during the school day or um, after school and on the weekends. That allows students to try careers on for size and then ultimately change their mind if it's not for them. So they have a better idea of what is for them when they graduate from high school. Here this picture on the slide is a field trip a couple years ago. We took our bioscience students up to the Ohio State University. Um, within the College of Food, Agri Agricultural and Environmental Sciences is the food science program. It's one of the, the biggest food science labs um, that students have access to um, as students. So we went and talked to some of their current students um, and learned about that as a possible career pathway for our students. Whether it's food science, dietetics, um, agriculture um, can all be tied to the bioscience program, as well as careers in the medical pathway, um, biomedical engineering, chemical engineering, you name it. Our students graduate and go on to do lots of different things. So what kind of colleges do our students pursue? Um, it depends on the student, but we have students at Ohio State, um, some who go on to Columbus State, First, um, Marion Technical College, um, Bowling Green, Otterbein, some students who go out of state as well. And then this is um, a student who I'd like to talk about um, before we conclude. Um, her name's Amna. She graduated from the bioscience program in 2018 um, and is now a student at um, The Ohio State University. Amna knew she wanted to go into the medical field. She wanted to um, get her bachelor's and then go on to med school. So she came in thinking she might graduate and pursue something like pre-med and then realized after um, honing in on some of the lab skills that are taught in the bioscience program that that was really interesting to her. 
um, knowing that she wanted to have a backup plan in case she had to put med school on hold um, and having a, um, an undergraduate career in an area that could give her a really great job with her skills that she has. So she started looking at different engineering pathways. Um, she was pretty set for a while her senior year and going into biomedical engineering, um, but it was really interesting as she continued to research the program and, and job shadow and call different industry professionals, um, she started to change her mind toward chemical engineering. So this program set her up for success to really um, decide what that next step was and gave her the confidence to pursue it. So she's a chemical engineering student um, who I believe still hopes to pursue um, med school in the future. More opportunities to connect and learn more about the Delaware Area Career Center exists on our website and our Explore page. If you haven't had the chance yet to join our virtual self-guided tour, um, that's linked on our website. So you can click through the Bioscience Lab and hear from some of our current students. Um, you can sign up for an admissions office hours, um, employer lunch and learns, um, and access our application here as well. Until then, take care and thank you for learning more about DACC's bioscience program.